Hey guys, what's up? It's Chris. Uh, you probably already know what this video is about by looking at the title of the video. But if you uh, haven't looked yet, it's about Girl Scout cookies. So, uh, I've done a few videos on Girl Scout cookies in the past and just going over the vegan flavors that they have and where you can get them and what to look out for and all that good stuff. So first off, it's a good thing to support the Girl Scouts. It gives them leadership skills, outdoor life skills, entrepreneurship skills. Um, but right now we're just gonna go over the vegan flavors of Girl Scout cookies. So I have a box right here and there should be one of each flavor that is vegan. So let's see what they have and this year. I was a Boy Scout, so I know how to use a knife. Cut away from yourself like that. Well, that was a long time ago though, so I might not have been paying attention. All right, so it looks like there are five new flavors here. I just wanna start out by saying there are two different bakeries that make the Girl Scout cookies. And one of them uh, only has one flavor that are vegan, and that would be the Thin Mints. So wherever you get the Thin Mints, they're always gonna be vegan, but you really wanna focus on the ABC Bakery because that is the bakery that has the uh, several different flavors of vegan ones. So that's one thing you're gonna wanna watch out for. Don't just grab whatever uh, uh, Girl Scout cookie you see because they might not be vegan. You gotta look at the bakery that it's made in. So ABC Bakery is gonna be the vegan ones. So again, we have Thin Mints right here which are always vegan right here, Thin Mints. I think most people have either heard of or had these before. And um, there's the ingredients. Now by no means are these going to be good for you. That's not what this video is about. But there are the ingredients, they are vegan, and they do use sustainable palm, if, in case you're wondering about that. So if you guys are questioning the sustainable palm and can anything really truly be sustainable? Uh, I've done a few videos on palm oil, so I'll link them below too if you wanna see what I have to say about that. Um, the next cookie we have here are the s'mores. There we go. And sometimes when, when these are in season, I like to make an actual s'mores with these as the crackers. So, you know, you got like an inception, you got a s'mores cracker as the graham cracker of your s'mores. So uh, try that sometime. These are new. These are toast yay. So these are like French toast. French toast like uh, Girl Scout cookies. We're gonna have to try them too. We're gonna have to do a taste test. So definitely stick around. And then we have the lemon heads. Le lemonades, sorry, lemonades. Okay, and then last but not least in the box, we have, ooh, the peanut butter patties. These are very similar to the uh, the peanut butter cookies that I just found at uh, Aldi, the Benton ones. Peanut butter in a chocolatey cookie wafer-like goodness. All right, so there we have five new flavors, Girl Scout cookies, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try them. We're gonna see which ones we like the best. Okay, so the first one we have right here, and I'm gonna leave the link below where you can see that it's, you know, very user friendly now. They have little spreadsheets where you can find all the allergens. So maybe you're, uh, maybe you're vegan, but you're also allergic to soy. They'll show you all of the. I don't know if there's any soy free or not, but they will show you the the allergens here. And then they'll show you um, your favorite cookies are back, plus a new cookie, which are the uh, the the French toast ones. Um, and then they will show you on each one a little vegan sign on it. So you know right off the bat which ones are vegan. If you haven't seen this video, you probably will find out on your own. Uh, there are five cookies here that are vegan. That's five more than they had back in the day. So I'm happy with that. And then when somebody is trying to sell Girl Scout cookies, maybe you don't even eat cookies, but you wanna support the Girl Scouts, you can buy some vegan cookies and give them away. All right, so they come in uh, two of these. This is the, uh, the Thin Mints. You know what, I'm gonna eat the Thin Mint last just because I want a minty fresh mouth after I taste all the other cookies. So let's go with the, uh, let's go with the peanut butter one first. And that's how that one looks. And there it is, there's the cookie. That's how big it is, it's about as big as my eyeball. Well, a little bit bigger than my eyeball. And it's a little bit smaller than the Benton one. Are you guys ready to see how this tastes? Well, you're not gonna see, I'm gonna see. I can smell the peanut butter and uh, chocolate right off the bat. 
It smells like I'm gonna ruin my diet. It's really good. I have to try to remember which one I like the best now. Moving on to, let's try the, uh, let's try the lemonade. Right off the bat, this doesn't sound like something that I'd be interested in. And I know I've tried it before, but it's been a while. I don't, okay, so look at that. Focus. This is what it looks like. It's like a little wafer and it's got like a little frosting on the back. And it's about that thick. Let's get out the ruler and find out how many millimeter. No, I'm just kidding. We're just gonna bite into it. Mm. Instant lemony taste. It's actually really good. I don't know, I just tend to like chocolatey things um, a lot better, but so I don't think I would ever ever buy these, but wow, it's it's really good. And it's exactly how I described it. It's like a lemon wafer cookie with a little bit of a, I don't know, like a lemony or a vanilla frosting on the back. So that's, uh, that, those are the lemonades. Doesn't taste like lemonade, it just tastes like a lemon shortbread. Okay, we're gonna try the s'mores next. I already know, I already know, I already know that I like these, but just because it's been a long time, I'm gonna try them again to make sure that I really do like them. And this is what they look like right in the package. That's how they're set up in the package. Rows of uh, five. And they're little squares. So that's what I mean. You put that in, you got your, your chocolate and your marshmallow and you melt it in between and you got like a little, you got extra s'moresy s'mores. All right, so yes, it's covered in chocolate, the whole thing. Let's bite into it. It's like, um, it's like a graham cookie cracker um, covered in chocolate. Yeah, it's good. I don't taste really, I don't really taste marshmallow in it or anything, but it's good. It's good. Do what I said. Try what I said. If you're going to try and make s'mores again, save some of these and then make yourself an Inception s'mores. It sounds cool. You know what? Let's try the Thin Mint now and then we're going to try the French Toast last because that's the new flavor. Thin Mint comes in, uh, two, two of these come in a box. Two of these little cylinder packets. And this is what they look like. Again, coated in chocolate, that's chocolate coated Thin Mint cracker. All right, here we go. And it's, I feel like they made them a little bit smaller, but maybe not. Maybe they were always this small. Mm-hmm. Just as I suspected, and it tastes the same as I remember. A minty, kind of a, like a, a, a dark wafer right there. Crunchy, tasty, minty. It kind, it kind of brings me back to when I was a little kid because I remember eating these as a little kid. So, uh, Thin Mints. Wow, I, you know what? I don't know which one I'm gonna be able to say I like the, the best here. Last one. Last one are these. French toast, toastier. French toast inspired cookies dipped in delicious icing full of flavor in every bite. Well, we're gonna we're gonna find out for ourselves. Uh, I, I kind of feel like they're telling the truth, but we gotta find out for science. So you open them up. It's probably really loud in your ear, but open them up and this is what they look like. Little, little stacks of French toast. And they're even, they're shaped like a piece of uh, French toast. That's what they look like. Ooh, I can already smell it. Yeah, that's, it smells like French toast. It smells like the cinnamon, sugar, the toastiness, the, uh, it smells good, maple syrup maybe. And on the bottom is a, uh, a little icy, and I don't know, it doesn't say what flavor that is, but it, maybe it's like a maple fla flavor. Anyway, shut up, Chris, and try it. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna bite into our French toast. So if, if you, you know, this is a great breakfast treat. All right, here we go. <laughs> it makes me laugh with joy because, you yeah, know, it's really good. It tastes like a crunchy, a crunchy cookie-like French toast. I mean, I don't know how else to say it. It's got the French toast flavors that you can uh, taste like the cinnamon, the maple French toast with icing on the back. So... 
Now to say which one I like the best. I don't know. They're all kind of good in their own little way. And I would eat all of them again because they are all delicious. Knowing me and how I love, you know, peanut butter and chocolate, it's probably a tie with me for either the peanut butter ones or the s'mores for me. I don't know which one. I'd probably have to go with the peanut butter if I had to pick one, but they're all good. And again, I'm gonna leave the link below so you can find out where to get them, the vegan ones, ABC Bakery, again. Uh, so don't make a mistake and get the French toast one from the other bakery, which um, I believe is not vegan. Uh, so this one, again, has five vegan flavors. And the only one that you don't have to worry about what bakery is, is the Thin Mints. These are gonna always be vegan at both bakeries, but go with the ABC Bakery. And I will leave a link below for you guys and yeah that's my review of the girl scout cookies again it's going to a good cause and uh, you can feel good about buying them even if they're not for yourself you can give them away as a gift so that's my two cents on that i hope you guys liked my review you can uh, check out my merch below that helps support the channel uh, like and share the video and don't forget to subscribe survive watch out for zombies and i'll see you guys next time